blood vessels. Look at the given representation of blood flow from and into the heart. You can observe that some of the blood vessels carry the blood away from the heart and some carry the blood towards the heart. This is the basic concept for classifying blood vessels. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood towards the heart. The structural difference between arteries and veins are based in their relationship to the heart. Since arteries receive blood from the heart, the blood they receive is under a lot of pressure. Can you picture how much pressure the arteries near the heart have to withstand every time the heart pumps a load of blood? Thus, arteries have thick and elastic muscular walls. Arteries can contract and relax according to the pressure exerted on its wall by the flow of blood. The veins only receive the blood after it has travelled quite far from the heart. The blood pressure in the veins is thus much less. The blood is certainly much less likely to burst through the walls of the veins than arteries. Since blood flows with reduced pressure, veins have comparatively thinner walls. Now carefully observe the walls present in these blood vessels. They are called pocket valves. Can you imagine why these valves are present in the vein? As we already discussed, veins carry blood to our heart. Hence, most of these vessels have to carry blood against gravity as the heart is situated at the upper part of the body. This can result in backflow of blood and blood will get accumulated in veins. Pocket valves prevent this. When a quantum of blood passes, the valves close and maintain the flow towards the upper part and the process is repeated. Now you have learned that arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood towards the heart. How are they interlinked? Arteries divide into thinner vessels called arterioles and then redivide into capillaries. Capillaries ramify in the tissues of our body. Then they rejoin to form minor branches called venules, which rejoin to form veins. And it is in the tissue where the exchange of materials has to take place. Therefore, the capillaries, which lie between arteries and veins, must be the regions for exchange. How can material cross a capillary wall? Easily because the capillary walls are only one cell thick. They are just made of endothelium.